Y254 Imagine Hello everybody and welcome to Sports Friday. I am your host Eddie Ogoe and with everything happening in the sports world right now, I'm joined with my analyst who will be breaking down every, each and everything for us. And he goes by the name Joel Bright. Joel, yes. good evening. Good evening too. Uh, how was your day? My day was great. Your day was great. Everything was fine, yeah. So far? So good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, without further ado, let me just skip right into it. And we start with the, co the, with the story of Gormaya. Calf qualifier continues this weekend as Gormaya and Shaq disappoint in their first leg. Now, Gormaya opponent is in the second leg of 2019 Calf Champions League preliminary match. Angel Noir Makamba from Burundi are all set and ready for Sunday's clash at Mo International Sports Center Kasarani. The first tie ended at goalless draw, which means Kogalo only need just a win. That, uh, in that game to advance in the, in the first rounds, but the Burundian champions will eliminate the Kenyan side if they can pull off a scoring draw of any kind in that game. Gormaya coach Steven Pollack believes his side have done everything in training to be able to beat Bandari FC on Sunday. Bandari, meanwhile, uh, Burun, uh, Bandarian FC, oh, Burundian FC on Sunday. Bandari, meanwhile, are also taking part in their CAF Confederation Cup and they failed to win at home, first leg setting, with a barren draw with Al Ahail Shendi from Sudan. Shendi coach Mohamed Abdallah has promised to attack Bandari FC when the two sides meet at the return leg of the CAF Federation Cup qualifiers. A scoring draw for the Do Dockers away in Sudan or a win in any kind will see them advance to the next round of the competition while the host need a victory to secure progress. Harambe Stars Under-15 does us proud once again. The Kenyan Under-15 national team booked a place in the semi-finals of the CAF Under-15 champions in Eritrea following their 2-1 win over the host in their final cup Group A match played yesterday. Kevin Wangaya and Ibrahim Mone scored a goal each as the junior stars mastered three wins in four games against Somalia. Sudan and, a host, and the host Eritrea only dropping points to Burundi on Tuesday. The team is now set to progress forward with the semi-finals set to be played at August 28th while the finals has been scheduled for, the, for August 30th 2019 in, the, in Asmara. Joel, yes. I had a question about uh, the, the, the under under well, that, 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 was the, that was the game. Now, I had a question about the under-15. With everything that these people have been through, like, we are seeing very good football from them. Wakio Okuchini, like, these guys are playing so professionally. At Okuchini, like, when I looked at the game, each and every game that I, I watched, uh, which they played, they, they are pulling out good results each and every time, each and every time, each and every time. But the problem is, why is it that there is a very big bridge, a uh, very big gap between the under-15 and... The, 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 the senior team, so much so that Ningumu Sana Kuskega, a player came from the under 15 and made it to the, to the senior team. Okay, for me, I'll say the first thing if you compare ourselves here in Africa, mostly in Kenya and in Europe, you'll find that when players are from the academies, you'll find all players already have managers, let me say managers and agents and people to guide sure. them through their career. But here in Kenya, you find somebody is just on its own. He's him playing, making decisions which club to join, what to do, how to practice, no trainer, no nothing to, to help him. So most of these players, when they play well, when they are 15 years before they get to 20, they get the celebrity thing getting into their head and they cannot pull up such performance when it comes to club, when it comes to trainings to get to, get to, to another level. So my, my main challenge will be that most players lack, lack let me guidance. say, guidance to, to help them make decisions which clubs to join, what to do, which position to play, 
where to specialize and then end of the day they end up wasting their careers okay so to to, to actually cap this uh this kind of problem that we are facing at the moment what do you think is the best direction to take so as to ensure that this doesn't continue because this is really hindering because you, when, when you see these boys play they, they play so well and they are so coordinated they're so well and when you look at even the teams that have really managed to progress in the in the in, the, in football since teams like nigeria teams like mali teams like uh, ghana cameroon these are teams that actually mentor their youth and most of the time you'll that the youth that played in the under 15 are the youth that are playing in the senior national team eventually. Even when you look at these players, when you look at the big names, you, people like Khan, Utaski Alikuwa under 15, he was in the under 18, he was eventually in the senior team. But our players, it's very different. Once we hear them down there, it's really difficult to get to, to hear or see them in the big scenes once they grow up. Okay, I'll say the first thing, players need to get managers. Okay. Like you still live in Kenya, you see most musicians who do well, they have managers. To Man them. And agents. Yeah, so players have to get managers and agents to help them make decisions. Which positions to play, what we have to specialize and what to do when it comes to football pitch and training sessions. So that's one thing I'll say, because you get maybe in academies, maybe in Manchester, in Arsenal, friend, all academies, each player have their own managers to sure. direct them, to guide them. Either you are going on loan, either you are being sold, you have managers and you have agents to guide you. You don't make those decisions by yourself or by your parents or any family members you have to do it on yourself a professional who actually has more knowledge in the yeah, sports experience scene. In not just an player. elder senior who babakos kumoja tuana mka and he says that he's your manager and yeah everything you goes can go well. to task or you can go to <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay still on the national team exploits uh kenya military team will this beat rwanda one nil as the two teams met today in the after in the Today afternoon at Kasarani in a tough physical duel with both teams putting out an outstanding performance throughout the game. Ulinzi, Ulinzi were representing Kenya in the EAC Military Games and Cultural Events 2019. The game which was only played as a formality as Rwanda had, a Rwanda team had already won the competition with more points was aimed to be spreading, uh, the, 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 the whole event was aimed at spreading a positive message, one people, one destiny. That's that's quite something. Sure. Well, uh, you, you did watch the, the you did watch the the. the the, the EAC military games that uh, were played. And throughout, uh, Ulinzi, Ulinzi did put up a standing performance, which, which most people would say it was expected because they have been a team for quite a while. And like most military, in this case, in teams in the to your last minute. But well, I watched the game today, and uh, it was very interesting. But the, the, the one thing I realized about the military games, it's throughout, it was very physical. It was too physical. Like, that's kind of physicality that Enyahara Mbistazo Nge Kwanayo. I think we were to Kwambali sana, but they, they were too physical, they were very defensive, and I don't know, it was a very different football scene. Me, it's, it's not a quite football scene, I so I can't, <laughs> <laughs> games are Kenya. But what did you think about it throughout? Okay, I will say physical games are, are not, me, me personally, as advice, to any footballer not to venture into physical games. Because at the moment, most football games may change from physical to tactical. You find like players are very soft, like Mutukama Mata, Mutukama Debrin, Mutukama Messi. They are, Waldogo Sara, but they are very, very tactical players. So if we now concentrate more on tactical out to dribble past one or evil, evil with the VR thing around, so anything physical, anything tough game, anything like this was a Jose Zakitambo, like physical game, hard game, not can, you can't go anywhere with them. So you have to, yeah, to be yeah, soft and tactical. Yeah. But anyway, they were the militaries, and it would be expected, as in that, that match was expected, seeing that Leifia Oyote in Akoga to physical, so well. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> that is Ulinzi, and we are used to them playing that physical match, even in the Kenyan Premier League. Well, moving on. Now, a while back, we actually had a discussion here against, um, uh, speaking against racism, where um, Abraham from Chelsea actu actually faced um, an incident where he missed a penalty. And uh, he was um, attacked through social media uh, in, in very racial ways that uh, we really uh, didn't feel so good about that. When we reported the news, uh, it was still ongoing, the investigations and everything. While, while we were speaking on that, and even up to this point, things haven't changed as Manchester United and Twitter are set to meet over Paul Pogba's racism abuse role. Now, Twitter and Manchester United of Representatives will meet within the next few weeks to discuss the racist abuse aimed at Paul Pogba following on Monday night's game with Wolves, which ended on a 1-1 draw. Pogba 
was targeted after failing to score a decisive penalty in the 1-1 draw on Monday and was backed by his teammates Harry Maguire and Marcus Rashford, who called Twitter to take action against the culprits. As a report suggested, Greater Manchester Police have said that formal investigations have yet to be launched into the abuse directed at Pogba because there has, no, there has so far been no specific complaint made to them from any public or any organization. Manchester United are also keen for kick out the Football Association and the Premier League to take a lead for more affirmative, effective approach from the teams in general to hopefully solve this issue from all angles. PFA Deputy Chief Executive Bobby Barnes has warned players could be forced off social media if racist abuse continues describing the platform as a new battleground. Joel. Yes. Uh, you, you watched the match against uh, Manchester sure, United I and Wolves. I watched, I watched. Uh, that, that, the year Wolves was something when you think about it. Yeah, yeah, it was something, but for me being a Manchester United fan, I, told, I tend to believe the air will come in a place like it came to against Man City and Tottenham, but <laughs> yeah, equal, equal, <laughs> unfortunately it didn't happen for me. Well, speaking against racism, now this is something that has been happening ever since time in memory. Like black people have always, or people of color, let me say, people of color have always been uh, hindered with racial abuse if in every aspect possible. Now in football, it has happened so many times even uh, in the previous seasons it, it happened and it keeps rising each and every season and it's becoming even worse and this is something very very uh, alarming seeing that we are moving in a very much uh, outspoken world where everything is actually exposed in Twitter and uh, social media platforms like uh, Facebook Instagram so for things like this to actually still happening to happen in no way Possibly, Akui Maliza it, this is something that me, me I feel personally I feel it's something that uh, it's quite alarming because it acquired if okay? Uh, these people have accounts, okay? They're yeah. using social media to actually uh, share their racial abuse. These people have accounts, and there is no way possible to actually trace them. Ilianzana Abraham a week a, a few a, a while a, a while back yeah waki cheza na nini waki cheza na Liverpool and now sasa me hit Pogba like how far do we have to go to actually for us to actually end this okay first thing mostly your racial abuse kwa field let me say field of play you make a cup you make reduce to some extent in that anybody like remember against Chelsea when Sterling was abused and the yeah, fans that was abused Sterling and got banned from Chelsea games for life so a football stadium you make a dealt with to some point which yeah. is better but when it comes to social, social media so we are hoping that your meeting in your match so will be having a Twitter which will help because like today I was listening to a discussion in Sky Sports when they were saying Twitter has to, to have any ability to detect what you are going to post. True. So if you are going to post something that is racial or something that is against something, they block it from, from going. From going on. If they do that, it will be good. It will be better for all It will be easier for us to deal with it. Yeah, but if Unachatu in a kwa posted a laugh on you like at the end of the day you want to, to, to ban yourself from Twitter, you want to block him or something, it 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 a may help because it will have already gone, it will have already spread it. Because all this week Manchester United has all been about Pogba racism, Pogba racism, Pogba, all Pogba. players talking about racism. True. Because at the end of the day, in a in a other attention ya concentration your players thought the next game against Crystal Palace is being hindered by the Pogba racial racism. thing. Yeah, and, and, and it, it even it even affects the player, even when we like next week at okay, this weekend Aki Chazan at work when Manchester United plays Crystal Palace, we are not even sure how it will be, any physical and mental situation for him to actually tackle the game when he comes. But, but from the, con the press conference, Yole Guna today, I may say, Mapogba is a, is a great character. I may brush it off. He's a professional, he's a true but professional. Even when you react to him, he has a Bolivian wife, he has a European agent, he has friends in China, he has friends everywhere. At least it's, it's said that he has life yake iko across everywhere. See it in Europe, I'm in Africa, and he has a religion yake, so he Algeria. But I may find it absurd, he like everywhere, at least. Na some, na some friends, na some attachment and stuff which, which at the end of the day in a side here could, could reach out to different people about the, the skin color. Sure. But it may affect so many players. Remember that Eto'o alikuwa kifunga in all important games alikuwa mbaka na celebrate haki kwenye skin kunyesha is black. He's and black. also Tony Suarez alikuwa kifunga bao ana kiss mkono skin kunyesha is black. So, so many players have been through this and I'm hoping it it yeah, because yeah. right now we have so many so many African players when you want to play in European League. So for this to actually continue, this will actually eat our football and the, the yeah, test sure. that we have for it in general.
But then again, let's just wait and see as Manchester United and kick off. And Twitter are set to meet to discuss the following uh, issues, uh, how they will t handle the matters as we head into the coming days. Now, the English Premier League is still continuing and so much is happening like last week. Last week was a thriller, whereas Manchester United went on a draw with, <laughs> with Wolves. Wolves. And it was very entertaining. But we come to this week and we are hoping for different results as Manchester United are set to meet Crystal Palace. Now, the EFL kicks off tomorrow as early kick of Chelsea take on it. In fact, if I was hoping my producer would come in the inside. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, now, the EFL kicks off uh, tomorrow as five. And Nakesho, by the way, I took a shot on a game since Matianga and Kwamesema. I think Matianga and Kwamesema are one in the first time I took a shot on the first time I took a shot on the first time I So, it's one in the ball, Kwanyuba. It's one in the ball, Kwanyuba, but it's one in the SKV that's going to be a big deal. Well, the fixtures are out, and uh, Norwich are set to take on Chelsea at home. Brighton are set to meet Southampton, Manchester United, and Crystal Palace will be taking on at Le uh, in the evening at 5, Sheffield and Leicester, Watford versus West Ham, Liverpool and Arsenal will be the final game of the day tomorrow, which is actually the big day and we are actually going to look at the game head-to-head -head results and see how uh, the t two teams have been faring so far. Now, this is not the first time Liverpool is meeting Arsenal. Arto uh, uh, Willem meet for the past, like, many times. Now, ever since 2012, Arsenal has never won a game in Liv at Anfield. The last time they won a game at Anfield was way back in 2012. Now, in the last two games that were matches there, Anfield were making it okay. results is ridiculous. Moja only pegua five nil, Ingin only pegua four nil. So, going to tomorrow's game, do you think Arsenal has the capability to actually take on Liverpool? Okay, for me, I'll say Arsenal this season with the expression you may like we purchase so many important players to fill so many places that are missing. But the only challenge was they didn't like invest much in the defense. Because we invest quite David Luiz, I don't say <laughs> we invest anything. Because for me, Arsenal playing Liverpool, but again, this season Liverpool is not like the Liverpool of last season. One Ashwa Kosheki, they concede so many goals. Like previously, Liverpool, like at now, they want to clean sheet. Say I want to clean sheet, their best goalkeeper is injured, they are relying on this goalkeeper to be free. So for me, Liverpool against Arsenal. Maybe in a Zakwa Liverpool will still win. I'm a quick camera man sitting as pass. Isha quadro because the moment that's on a very, very good attack. They have a very good attack. Yeah, so many people like this. Two of these people are talking about the attack. 